All right, welcome back. And it is that time once again for your daily devotion. And we have part two of forgiving others. And our scripture is Jeremiah 31, 18. It says, turn thou me and I shall be turned. The Bible tells us Isaac's servants dug a well, but the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's herdsmen saying, the water is ours. So they dug another well and they quarreled over that one also. <laughs> and he moved from there and dug another well and they did not quarrel over it. So he called it Rehoboth because he said, for now the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. Genesis 26, 19 through 22. What a great example of practicing forgiveness. During a drought, Isaac dug wells and his enemies moved in and claimed them. It wasn't fair, but instead of retaliating, he moved on and dug new wells, and God blessed him greatly. The truth is this, God will fill the emptiness in your life when you forgive those who have hurt you. Let's face it, as long as we share this planet with other imperfect human beings, they will hurt us. True. There is no way to avoid it. Mm -mm. And when the hurt goes deep, it can be hard to forgive. Does that mean you should go around pretending that nothing is wrong and denying how you feel? No, the first step toward healing is acknowledging your feelings and Jesus gives us the second step. Pray for those who mistreat you. Luke 6 and 28. When you do that, something unexpected happens. Your heart softens and you start to see the offender through God's eyes instead of your own raw emotions. But I don't want to forgive them, you say. <laughs> Then here is step three. Acknowledge your unwillingness to forgive and ask God to make you willing. That is powerful right there. Pray, turn thou me and I shall be turned. Wow, there's a whole lot in there. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, my goodness. Um, I, I don't think that any of us have not been through this. I mean, if you haven't, then you've been living under a rock because as long as you deal with people, boy, even if you don't know them, those people that are rude to you out in public or cut you off in traffic, whatever, you know. Um, but it's, you know, pray for those who mistreat you. And that is, is so true, um, you know, and you're not responsible for how they act after that. You know, you, you really aren't. I mean, you know, I've, I've got many examples of it as you probably do too. And, and so, but what it does is again, forgiveness, like I said yesterday, it's for you. It's more for you. And you have that peace because you have to be willing. I love that step three, acknowledge your, your unwillingness to forgive and ask God to make you willing. So if you have a hard time letting go of stuff like that, it's hard to move forward when you're carrying all that baggage. It just gets heavier and heavier and you keep every time something happens, you put another one in that bag and pretty soon you, you can't walk because it's so heavy. So, um, you know, let it go and ask God to help you. It's not an easy thing to do, but once you start doing it, boy, whoo, your load gets lighter and you, uh, it's, it gets a whole lot easier. And so people, you know, don't give, don't give your power away like that. You know, there's many people that are going to mistreat you. They do. I work in a church and I, you know, it's probably one of the worst places that people treat you badly. And, and, you know, not everybody, but there's, there are some that are just vicious. And so you, you have to pray for them. You know, um, you don't know what they've been through or what you remind them of or whatever, but you know, it's, let God fix it for them. You can't do that. So, and try not to take it so personally, you know, maybe they're attacking the God in you and maybe that's what they're, maybe that's what the problem is, you know? So anyway, keep praying for them and uh, be willing to forgive them and let God make you willing and let God work on them you can't do it. You didn't do it. And so you can't do it. <laughs> okay. That's the word for you today. God bless you. And we will see you tomorrow.